Can you believe it's already my last week of my derm rotation? What the heck? Can you believe it's already my last week of my derm rotation? What the heck? I have a presentation to do this week and an exam. Hopefully both will go smoothly and I've brought my everything today. I hopefully will get to the gym, got my lunch. I'm ready for a long day. <laughs> this is our clinic. We're the first two here and we're ready to go. Just got my allergy shots. It's a weekly thing I do, mostly for Rosie, my little pup. But I got that and I got my flu shot, so I'm well prepared. Well guys, my yoga class was apparently canceled or non-existent. So I made my own yoga class with the YouTube video and my yoga mat. Not nearly as satisfying, but hopefully they'll get it going again and I can join some other time this week or next week. Tuesday morning, let's make today a good day. It seems darker than usual this morning. Maybe the days are getting shorter. What you doing? I'm trying to put together a presentation for the end of my derm rotation. They want us to present an interesting case. So mine, I'm gonna make them guess it. Case presentation. <laughs> so what's the case? I'm going to do a patient that we saw with Kaposi sarcoma. So I've gathered my great derm textbooks <laughs> and I'm trying to just Make it sound smart enough that residents will be able to think a little bit. Isn't it so pretty? If you say so. Walking into the ICU. This is the last week of my ICU rotation. Let's see how it goes. I really have started enjoying this rotation, so a little sad that it's going to be over, but my next rotation is more of an online type, so it'll be easier hours, and hopefully I can get more work done. I need to do my residency application. Hey everyone, so I went in thinking it would be like the typical last three weeks I had, but today was meant to be something different. The first thing that happened when I got in is we realized that the internet connection wasn't working, so we couldn't access any of the patient chart to get vitals or see any labs or see how they did overnight. We kind of had to go a little bit old school and just go check on the patients manually. And then IT was able to come by, they restored the internet, and they kind of became more of the typical morning. And then there was a RRT called for a patient on the floor. 
RRT just means rapid response team was called and the ICU team does go down there for that. They brought a patient back that we had previously sent to the floor. He acutely kind of worsened and he became hypoxic and he needed kind of intervention. So we brought him back to the uh, ICU side. So he required intubation and everything was going okay. He was kind of stabilized. We decided as a team to kind of get him a CT scan. And after that was done, he was brought back to the ICU. And as soon as each got transferred from the mobile bed to his kind of room bed basically within 10 minutes or so he started crashing and he started coding and he didn't have a pulse uh, there was no electrical activity so the nurses are screaming code car code blue so we all go in there let me tell you it's basically just organized chaos everyone's trying to figure out what they can do to help i got involved i started doing some chest compressions there was people trying to bag him and make sure he's oxygenated and we're all trying to you know get the crash card ready to give him epinephrine he wasn't in a rhythm that's shockable, so we couldn't just start, you know, putting the paddles on him and trying to shock him into it. So all we could do is at that time is give epinephrine and keep doing chest compressions and make sure he's getting enough oxygen. Ultimately he did this for about 12, 15 minutes and one of us made the call to the family and they decided that they no longer wanted to keep, you know, trying to resuscitate the patient. We ended up stopping and the patient didn't make it. The whole experience was crazy. I've never been part of a code before. I've never done chest compressions before. We had the training to do it, but I've never actually, you know, seen it done. This is actually the first time I was in the room resuscitating a patient and the patient didn't make it. This is my first time encountering death and it's just a weird feeling. At the time of the code, I mean, I had my adrenaline pumping. I was kind of on edge, ready to do whatever. But afterwards, I was still, you know, trying to put together what all just happened. It was definitely a very crazy experience. Not only medicine, allows you to see. Ultimately, I'm just very thankful that I'm in a field where we can try to bring patients back, even though this one wasn't successful. I hope that maybe in the future, I am lucky enough to bring patients back. sucks having to walk in the rain. Hey everyone, so it's Thursday evening and tomorrow is my last day of this ICU rotation. Tonight I actually participated in an online webinar of uh, the Mayo Clinic residency program. They kind of discussed what the program is about and kind of why we should apply there, all the benefits they have and whatnot. This was actually the first time I've done such a webinar. And it's kind of getting me ready to be in the mindset of interviews and the whole residency application process. They kind of went over the strengths of the programs and I think that will help develop some of the questions and some of the things that I should be looking for in programs going forward. I plan to participate in more of these webinars. Amanda and I are going to be couples matching this upcoming match and the application is basically due October 21st. That's when programs can kind of pull our data and decide whether or not if they want to give us interviews. And the couples match process is a little bit more stressful than the regular interview process. So I'm hoping that we can navigate and go through this without too much of a problem. And I'm hopeful that we can match at the same place and in both with the same specialties that we'd like. It's a stressful and anxiety provoking time, but it's also, I think, going to be worth it to go through this. And there's light at the end of the tunnel. And this is what we've been working so hard for these past few years. And really kind of our whole academic career.
career. Also wanted to talk about the patient that coded the other day. We ended up asking the family if they would like us to do an autopsy to figure out what exactly went wrong. And the family did not want us to do an autopsy. And ultimately, we have to honor the family's wishes. We're not going to find out whatever happened. None of us really know what happened. We don't really even have a good theory. And without an autopsy, there's really no way of knowing. But the family's wishes are the most important thing right now. And we're going to honor that. I am grateful that I got to participate in my first code. Um, I think going forward, this will give me the confidence if I'm ever in that kind of situation again. I'm hoping that the next time there will be a better outcome. There's definitely a big misconception on how the CPR and codes work from, I think, TV shows. Most of the time, they're not pretty. Patients often have broken ribs. It's very traumatic. And the prognosis for kind of a meaningful recovery is very slim. Usually being hypoxic for even a few minutes leads to a lot of brain damage and patients are really never the same after that. I am glad the family kind of understood that and asked us to stop trying because a lot of times the family wants us to do everything we can and that's not necessarily the best thing for the patient. guys I got off a little bit early from the ICU today it was my last day of the rotation I finally made it to the gym today was actually the first day back on the treadmill after a very long time I felt real good but I'll have to see how my knees feel tomorrow I have a little bit of a patellar and even quadriceps tendonitis sometimes it starts acting up usually when I squat it helps a lot we'll have to see how they feel tomorrow because I squatted and then I also ran so we'll see home after a long day this morning I had my dermatology exam to finish up my four weeks on the rotation and I got hundred and one percent guys woo, woo. <laughs> I guess I learned a few things hopefully I had some bonus questions that I did not get right though but it's a learning curve and then I had the rest of the morning clinic and I got to work with a new doctor so that was nice to see her and meet her because I'll actually be on my dermatology rotation for another month I'm doing kind of a more advanced elective and I think I'll get to work with her more so I'm looking forward to that and then we had our grand rounds this afternoon so that typically happens once a month what we do typically is we would go into clinic and see patients who come in and volunteer their time for students and residents to go look, examine, and say what they think the diagnosis is. We figure out what we would treat it with, that type of thing. But because of this pandemic, we've been doing it kind of virtually where we just show pictures of a patient that we had previously seen. And it's a complicated patient, usually one that we're not exactly sure of the diagnosis or how to treat it. And then we just kind of talk through it and see how we can figure things out for that patient. And then I stopped by a research lab because I've been meaning to go in to talk to them about a project that I've been trying to start for the last few months and I spent this afternoon combing through the records and trying to get all of the different patients that we want to include in this study. So that took about two hours. I didn't really get to go to the gym but I'm looking forward to the weekend. Ended up going with good old Mexican food. I don't think we can really go wrong with that. Isn't that right? I mean yeah but you didn't really ask me. I came home and there was food. I guess that's a good thing though. <laughs> So tomorrow my dad's coming and we'll get to spend some time with him, but that's a wrap for our week and we hope you enjoyed it.